Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and today we are continuing with the ideal gas law, which again, PV equals NRT, and because our gas constant has the unit liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, that means our pressure has to be in atmospheres, our volume needs to be in liters, our temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So, reminder. Kelvin is equal to degrees C plus 273. And for our pressure, 1 atm is equal to 760 torr, 4 millimeters, which is the same as 101.325 kilopascals. So you're going to need to convert where appropriate. So now I'm going to just scroll down to the first question. And I'm actually going to give us a little bit more room. So let's read this. It says, what is the mass in grams of methane that exerts such and such a pressure at such and such a volume and such and such a temperature? So first off, what is the mass in grams? Remember that in the ideal gas law, we solve for the number of moles. But we can go from grams to moles using molar mass. So we're going to solve for N. So N is our question mark. Our pressure is in torr, so we're going to have to divide by 760 to get to ATM. So our pressure ends up being 875 divided by 760, which comes out to 1.15. Our volume is expressed in liters, so it's okay, as is. Our temperature is going to need to be converted, so we're going to take 68.5 and add 273, and that gives us 341.5 Kelvin. And finally, our R is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So now I'm going to draw my little line. So if PV equals NRT, dividing both sides by RT, then N is PV over RT. And plugging in. And finally, temperature. So now I'm going to cancel units, atmospheres, liters, kelvins. That leaves us with one over, one over moles, which is moles. Plugging it into my handy dandy calculator gives me. I'm going around to three sig figs, so that's our third sig fig, so 1.72 moles. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make a little molar mass box. One times carbon. That's a one, I swear. Four times hydrogen. So our molar mass is 16.0. Four grams per mole. So now this is just a straightforward mole to mass. And you get twenty seven five eight 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 grams. So I'm going to round that to three sig figs. So our answer is 27.6 grams of methane. Now I'm going to scroll down and solve another one. So now this particular one, it's a little tricky. It's 
saying if the density of a gas is 1.25 at STP, what is its molar mass? In order to solve for molar mass, you need grams per mole. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to be tricky and solve for m. And then we're going to use STP for our conditions of temperature and pressure. And if we look at that density, 1.25 grams for every one liter. So if I use one liter as my volume, I know it has a mass of 1.25 grams. So I'm going to solve for how many moles is represented by one liter of this gas at STP. So M is going to be our question mark. Volume is going to be one liter. Um, temperature is standard temperature, which is 273 Kelvin. Pressure is standard pressure, so 1 atm. And again, we don't need to worry about units here. Uh, sig figs, the only sig figs that's going to matter is the measurement we were given. And our R is still 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So now, M is PV over RT. Plugging in numbers. Our P is 1 atm. Our V is 1 liter. Our R is still 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And our T is standard temperature 273 Kelvin. Now, canceling atmospheres, liters, Kelvins, we're left with 1 over 1 over moles, which is moles, so that's cool. And when we plug this in, we get um, n is equal to 0 0.04638 moles. And looking three sig figs, one, two, three, our third sig fig is right there. So we're going to say it's equal to 0 0.0446 moles. Now, we have to calculate molar mass. So we just said that N is equal to 0 0.0446 moles. And so in order to get to molar mass, molar mass is grams per mole. And we know that 1.25 grams represents 0 0.0446 mole. That's the N we just calculated. And that comes out to 28.0269 grams per mole. And we're rounding to three sig figs. So molar mass is equal to 28.0 grams per mole. So the ideal gas law allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. So now we're going to read one more problem. Um, at 600 millimeters mer uh, mercury of pressure and 35 degrees C, 2.7 liters of a gas has a mass of 3.80. What is its molar mass? So once more, we're going to need to solve for n. So n equals question mark. Our pressure, 600 millimeters, divided by 760 uh, millimeters per tor is going to give me 0.789 atmospheres. Um, our temperature is 35 plus 273, which is 308. Our volume is 2.70 liters, and our um, 
gas constant is still 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. So now N is still PV over RT. So let me plug in. So our pressure is And finally, our temperature is 308. So canceling, atmosphere, atmosphere, liter, liter, K, K. Once more, we have 1 over 1 over moles. When we plug that into our handy dandy calculator, we get 0 0.08. 42866 mole. So now we're going to look at the number of significant digits. We were given, oopsie, sorry, we were given three, three, and three. So we're going to say three, one, two, three, our third significant digit. Um, however, the number after it is an eight, so we're going to round. So we're going to say that n is equal to 0 0.0843 moles, and we know that that corresponds to 3.80 grams. So our molar mass is 3.80 grams represents 0.0843 moles. And when we do our division, we get uh, 45.077. And rounding to three fig figs would be there. So 45.1 gram per mole equals molar mass. Now, um, you might feel like I'm spending a lot of time on this molar mass stuff, but the majority of the time that we do um, ideal gas law problems, these are the kinds of problems that we use the ideal gas law for. So, this is Miss Augustine signing off.